Hi, I'm Susan Else. Um, I'm a fabric sculptor in Santa Cruz, California. Um, I'm, today I'm going to be talking about my piece, uh, Lullaby, which is part of a Sakwa show at Intersex Chicago this year. I feel like life is a very complicated um, experience. It's full of terror and joy and despair and wonder, and all of those things are also interlaced with dull, banal routines that we carry out every day. So life is, is a huge, complicated thing. And I feel like my job as an artist is to be able to distill all that and convey it to the viewer in a single image. So, what we're looking at here on the screen um, is obviously a rocking chair. And a rocking chair has a lot of domestic and comfortable associations. You think about raising children, loving children, wrapping them up in that baby blanket. Um, and you think of all the generations that have done that. Uh, you can think of a rocking chair as can be an heirloom, something that gets passed down in a family. Um, but it has a lot of associations that are in general for us pretty positive. But then if you look closely at this rocking chair, of course, you can see that it's made out of bones. And bones have other connotations for us. They bring to mind fear and mortality, decay, death, all those scary things. And they're also a symbol of our human past, our ancestors, our human history. So they too have that idea of ancestral generations, but a kind of darker side of it. But then the piece is triply ambiguous because the surface is made of collaged and quilted cloth. So it, it's on a teeter-totter, this piece. It keeps going back and forth, engaging the viewer in different ways, reminding them of different associations. And that's kind of where I like to keep my viewers, is a little bit off balance. I mean, this piece is a little creepy. It's a little funny. Um, the surface is really colorful and beautiful and pulls you in at the same time that the associations of it are, are some of them are disturbing. This is a, a picture of the back of the piece. You can see the feet rocking in the back and um, the baby blanket from the rear. And you can see the hip bones there, all of this. Um, it's made originally from plastic bones, which are covered um, with little quilted collages of fabric. Here's a detail, and you can see that the surface is actually pretty engaging. I really like to lengthen the time that people want to look at a piece. Um, it's not a one and done kind of um, artwork. And I feel that fabric really helps that process because it's, it conveys so many things to us, um, you know, including the beauty of the surface, but also the fact that we live in cloth and it's comfortable for us. Quilt art, fabric art is, um, it's going in all sorts of directions today. And it's just wonderful to be part of that development. And it's been great to talk to you. Thank you.